एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर नीलम फ्रॉम डेली टेक्नोलॉजिकल यूनिवर्सिटी वेलकम टू दिस कोर्स इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स टू फ्रॉम एस चांद अकेडमी वेयर वी विल बी कवरिंग द फुल सिलेबस ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स टू So welcome back to the second part of the video. In the first part, we have learned how to check whether a given differential equation is an exact differential equation or not. If yes, then what is the solution technique for the exact differential equation? In that, we have taken one example and we have found out the expression for f x y. For details, you can go through the book from S Chan Publishing. Details of which is given here. Link is given in the description box. So the the given example was this. y square minus 2x dx plus 2xy plus 1 dy is equals to 0 and we have this this is your mxy and this is nxy and we have checked that the this uh, satisfies the condition for exact differential equation and then we have uh, we know that uh, the solution can be found out for this and del f over del y is equals to nxy and in the first part of the video we have calculated this f using this expression now we can start with this expression and then also this f uh, expression fxy is equals to c can be calc uh, can be found out so we'll do with uh, we'll start with this del f over del y so m is y square minus 2x which is del f over del x and n is 2xy plus 1 is equals to del f over del y so this time we will start we will so this time we will take this as our uh, initial expression and we will start with this del f over del y to calc to uh, find out the expression for this fxy so let us say that del f over del y is equals to 2xy plus 1 and let me call this as 1 for this portion and second so on integrating this on integrating with respect to y so this becomes fxy is equals to now we we are integrating with respect to y so it becomes xy square plus y and this time like in the previous uh, video we have uh, we were uh, taking this mam as our initial uh, stage initial uh, step but in this one we are taking this n as our initial step therefore and we are integrating this with respect to y therefore this should be a function of x instead of a constant of integration because if we will differentiate this fxy if we will differentiate this fxy then there might have been some expression of x only which would have given us zero if it would have been differentiated with respect to x therefore we we should not commit this mistake that we are taking constant here and then we will not be getting answer for our equation so this will be g1x now let me call this as 3 and we will uh, we will be using the this equation number 1 to get this expression for g1x so this we will differentiate this differentiate this 3 with respect to x so it becomes del f over del x is equals to now it becomes y square and that's it becomes 0 plus g1x g1 dash x because we are integrating differentiating with respect to x and let me call this as 4 so on equating this uh, expression 1 and 4 why so because this fxy is the same function which has been differentiated with respect to x here and with respect to x here therefore the expression for del f over del x should be same so we will compare this del f over del x 
So del f over del x on comparing the expression for del f over del x we will be getting from equation number 1 y square minus 2x and here we are getting y square plus g1 dash x okay. So we get g1 dash x is equals to minus 2x and on integrating with respect to x we get g1 x as x square minus x square and plus a constant of integration. So that's how if we would have taken this as constant we would not have uh, uh, got this expression minus x square. So we will substitute this the expression for g1 x in 3 and then this 3 becomes 3 becomes fxy is equals to xy square plus y minus x square plus let me call this as c2 c2 okay so this we have got the expression for fxy now we have uh, we will be substituting this that, uh, as the solution for differential equation so the solution for given exact differential equation is fxy is equals to c is equals to some constant c which can be written as xy square plus y minus x square plus c2 is equals to c and again we will stick to the same concept that since it is an uh, ordinary differential equation of first order therefore it can have only one arbitrary constant therefore these two arbitrary constants will be clubbed into one and let us call it as c3. So this becomes the solution of the given different solution of the given exact differential equation. We can we can see that the, the same was the solution which when we have started with m and same uh, solution we will get when we start with n. The only thing is that when we will differentiate and integrate with respect to uh, x or y we need to take care about that constant, uh, constant of integration. When we will integrate with respect to x in case of m, then we should not take constant of integration as c, rather that should be taken as a function of y. And if we are starting with n, that is del f over del y, when we will integrate that with respect to y, we should not take constant of integration as x, uh, we should not take constant of integration as c, rather we should take as a function of x which would which would have given us 0 if it would have been differentiated with respect to y. So that is how we can get the solution for an exact differential equation. We have described both the methods both the uh, that when you take m as your starting uh, function or n as your starting function. So uh, we will end this part of the video with this uh, solution technique. So in this video we have learned how to identify whether a given differential equation is an exact differential equation or not. If yes then what is the solution of that differential equation? Any exact differential equation will be having a solution fxy equals to c where m will be the uh, partial derivative of this f with respect to x and n x y will be the uh, uh, partial derivative of this f with respect to y. So then uh, there are two solution methods. One we can start with m as your uh, to, to find out your f x y and another we can take this n to find out the expression for this f x y. For details you can go through the book from S. Chan Publishing details of which is given here. Link is given in the description box. I am sure you might have understood the concept of the solu uh, solution of an exact differential equation. Therefore, please like, share and subscribe the video and press the bell icon for, uh, whenever, for notification as and when new video will be uploaded. Thank you very much. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.